Electricity prices around the world are getting more and more expensive and the cost of a vehicle to home backup system like my Ford system here, well, it's not particularly affordable, especially if you price in the vehicle that has to go with it. But last week, Formata Energy received approval from Nissan to offer its higher power FE20 vehicle to everything system with pretty much any Nissan Leaf that has vehicle to X capability. And that got me thinking, is the Nissan Leaf the smart choice if you want a vehicle backup solution on the cheap? Here at my house, I have a Ford vehicle to home system. Thanks to the Ford home integration system, it consists of a big charging station that can charge my F-150 Lightning at a pretty high power rate and can also pull up to 10 kilowatts or about 9.8 kilowatts if we're being pedantic from my truck, feed it through the charging station, then through the inverter that is way over there and ultimately to power my home. And it's a big system, it's a bulky system, and as I said in the introduction, it's a costly system. But we've seen companies like Formata Energy, and there are others too, that are building more compact systems that are much more friendly for your average homeowner who just wants an emergency backup power solution. But where Formata Energy's new vehicle to everything solution really, really shines is that it is capable of providing up to 20 kilowatts either to the grid or to an attached home from a Nissan LEAF battery pack. And you might think the Nissan LEAF has a really small battery pack in its original form, 24 kilowatt hours. And with Nissan LEAFs suffering some form of battery degradation because Nissan never put active cooling in the LEAF's battery pack, there are many Leafs around today with far lower capacity battery packs, far lower real world capacity battery packs. But here's the thing that a lot of people don't realize. While the Nissan Leafs, the early Nissan Leafs, may no longer be able to travel as far per charge as they once did, their battery packs are still, to some extent, capable of storing a decent amount of electricity they just can't release that electricity quickly enough to power your EV. In fact, this is true of any degraded battery pack. Normally the thing that causes the biggest headache for degradation in battery packs isn't that the battery pack can't store energy anymore, it's that it can't deliver that energy quickly. And so when a Nissan Leaf's battery pack gets a little long in the tooth, it's still capable of storing and supplying energy in second life projects, which is where companies like Formata Energy come in. Now, right now, I'm afraid I don't have a price for the Formata Energy FE20. I'm sure that will be published in the near future. And I have reached out to Formata Energy to ask for it at the time of filming this video. And given the fact we're heading to Canada this week for everything electric, we haven't heard back yet, but fingers crossed. I think the best solution for people who are looking for a second EV that can also provide backup power to your home is actually a Nissan Leaf. And that's really cool because right now, if you go onto Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp or any other of those kind of community for sale forums, you'll note that you can get a heavily used, much loved Nissan Leaf for anything from 2,000 US dollars up to about five or 6,000 US dollars. And those EVs very often come with how should I put this politely? Pretty knackered battery packs. Knackered battery packs, using the British terminology, meaning they're not really very useful for, for long distance travel anymore. And while they might still be capable of providing 20, 30, 40 miles of real world range, they're really round town runabouts rather than long distance drivers. But here's where the beauty of this solution comes in. If we assume that Formata Energy's vehicle to X system is 
pretty sizable in its cost. Let's say five to 10,000 US dollars. And bear in mind, I don't have a firm price at the time of filming. It's still more cost effective to get one of those systems installed and then to buy a heavily loved Nissan Leaf and sit it on your driveway if you have off street parking and charging. And it's perfect if you've got younger family members or someone in your family who doesn't need to drive long distances but does need a car for running errands in the local community. Maybe you have an elderly relative who lives with you who doesn't do a whole lot of driving but for whom a Nissan Leaf would be a perfect round town runabout. Maybe you have a, a high schooler in your family who needs to borrow a car every now and then to go and see their friends or go to study hall and a leaf is a perfect solution for that. It's got enough range to get them around town, but not enough range and enough power to get them into serious trouble. And if that Nissan leaf only costs you three, four, five thousand US dollars and sits on your driveway most of the time, as soon as there's a power cut, your leaf can provide backup power to your home. Now, I know a lot of people will look at this and go, it would just be quicker and easier for me to rent or lease one of the latest EVs to come to market. Maybe an EGMP based car with vehicle to load capabilities. But think about this for a second. A vehicle to load in all of the EGMP based cars can supply on a good day no more than about one and a half to two kilowatts from an outlet. Whereas something like the Formata Energy System, and there are others on the market today that all work with Chatamo enabled EVs, and they can pull power out at a far higher rate. So I don't know about you, I'm tempted, even though I have the Ford Home Integration System, to see if I can get something like that installed maybe on a secondary circuit in the house so that I can then use an old Nissan Leaf that would otherwise be sent to a junkyard or a scrap heap to power my home. To finish, lots of you will look at this and go, yeah, but what about projects like Dala the Great, who is working on a fantastic open source program to allow you to pull the battery pack out of a used Nissan Leaf, connect it to an inverter, and then have a home battery backup solution for your home. And if you are someone who enjoys tinkering and en enjoys the challenge of that and doesn't mind the caveats and potential pitfalls that lay ahead, you know, you could hurt yourself, electricity is dangerous, etc., etc., etc. And of course, you'd also be removing the battery pack from a vehicle that you could then not drive. That solution might cost less and it might be more fun for the tinkerer. But using a, a vehicle to X system that is Chademo enabled, that might be your solution moving forwards. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below what you think. Am I smoking something? Have I gone a little do alley? Or is this a really big aftermarket solution for an aging fleet that can still prove itself useful? in the marketplace. Thanks for joining me today. And if you've got thoughts, make sure you leave them in our Discord chat room, our Patreon page, our YouTube comment section, or you can reach out to us on Mastodon. Thanks to the amazing list of people scrolling by on your screen right now. They are some of the more than 1,500 people who help make this channel possible through Patreon and YouTube, covering our bills, paying our team, and making sure that we can remain 100% independent. If you'd like to join them and see your name listed here, just follow the links below. There are a range of different tiers you can sign up for from as little as $1 a month, or if you pay yearly, around $10.08 a year. A massive welcome to our newest supporters, Bree Crockford, CAP, Christian Balal, Everything on a Buy Bagel, Pidge Eon, and Brett Chandler. To join the list and get your shout out, become a paid Patreon member for your moment of fame. If you'd like to support us with a one-off donation, you'll find links below for Ko-fi and Bitcoin donations. And we even have a good old fashioned PO box you can reach us at, the address for which you'll also find below. And if you're in need of some swag, do check out our swag store in the down below. 
We've got some fantastic content coming right up, so make sure you're subscribed on Peertube or YouTube, and we'll see you soon. As a reminder, we make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you want more, the almighty algorithm thinks you might enjoy this video, but what does it know? We think this one is also well worth a look. See you soon, and as always, keep evolving!